Now, in order to monitor a virtual classroom, you'll need to access the class's Google Meet. So you should be given a list of links uh, for each class period if you're substituting for middle through high school, or maybe you just have one or two links if you're substituting for the elementary. So before you even get started, you want to make sure on whatever device that you're using that you have Google Chrome. And Google Chrome looks like this icon here at the bottom of my screen. And this is the only web browser that is compatible with Google Meet. So it's important that you're using that. Um, there are other internet browsers like Firefox and Safari and even Internet Explorer. But uh, those browsers aren't compatible. So you want to make sure that you do stick to Google Chrome. Now, um, let's say that I'm a substitute and I have my document with my links for my classes. So I'm going to go ahead and click on, on my link to initiate the class. And this is the beginning window that appears once you start up a meet as the teacher or, or substitute. And see, you see me here, so you can fix your hair and, and uh, get, make sure that everything looks appropriate in, in the screen around you. And you also have a microphone button and a video button here at the bottom. Um, you can turn those off if you want to enter the meet without um, having those on, like having your video on or, or your microphone. Uh, maybe you're starting a few minutes early and uh, you're on a phone call and um, don't want the students to necessarily hear that or see it, so you can turn it off then. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on so that the students know that I'm there as soon as I uh, start up this meet. So then you'll go over to the right and click Join Now. And there you've begun the meet. So now students can go ahead and click on the link and they'll have access to enter. And then you'll see them pop up. So I don't have any students with me right now. So you'll see duplicates of me. There we go. There's one student. And then let's uh, bring in another. There we go. So there we have our two students. You'll always see yourself at the top right corner if you can see my little picture there okay and then um, the students will appear in the rest of, of the screen <clears throat> so let's go over uh, some of the buttons that are here now first of all you want to make sure that you'll be able to see all of your students on the screen so to do that uh, you want to hover your cursor down to the bottom when you move your cursor to the bottom this uh, bar of options will appear and we want to go to the three dots at the right, click on that, and then you'll see Change Layout. So I'm going to click on Change Layout. And um, if it's not already selected, make sure you're on Tiled. And if you have more than 16 students, you want to drag the circle across. So there's 30. Sometimes you might have a little bit more than 30, depending on the class size. So I'm just going to leave it at 42 and then close it there. So if I have up to 42 students, I'll be able to see all of their tiles on my screen. Now, it is a rule that um, students turn on their cameras so that you can see that they are there and that they're working. Now. As a substitute, you also have um, the ability to mute students. So let's, let's go through some of those options. So if you hover over one of the students, um, they have, there's a microphone button. This student is already muted, so that's why this uh, microphone option is grayed out. It's not um, enabled because we don't need to mute since they already are they're already muted. Okay, now the button on the right, which is the minus sign inside the circle, is when you want to remove the student. Now, uh, we don't really want to use that unless it's absolutely necessary because if you do use the remove from meeting option, then the student won't be able to get back in and uh, until the next day. 
so uh, the teacher would have to send that student an invitation in order to invite them back in. And I can show you that too. So let's say I removed a student from the meeting. They can get back in. So then what you could do is you can go up to uh, the people icon up here and you'll see your list of, of uh, students and, and yourself. And you can click on add people. And then you'll need to know the email address of the student or the name of the student to add them and invite. And while we're in this section, you also have the ability to chat with students. If you click on this chat icon, then um, you'll be able to message students at the bottom and all the messages will appear. So if I type in hello and I hit enter on my keyboard, it'll appear here. It'll tell me what time the message was posted and by who. Okay, and so uh, this is a good way to communicate with students um, whose microphones aren't working or who are too shy to ask uh, in front of uh, the whole class. Or um, they might be working on an assignment and you don't want to create a distraction by having a conversation. So a, ver a, a audible conversation. So then um, you can just help them here in the chat. And a, a lot of students are used to to asking for help or um, asking questions or sharing information here in the chat as well. You can also share uh, links to a website on here by pasting the links and then the students can all click on them to receive that information. Um, at the bottom, students also have the option and teachers to use the turn on captions uh, button and what that does is as people are speaking, the captions will appear at the bottom of the screen. So here we go. So now it's starting to show all the audible uh, speech that is happening and it's starting to appear on the screen. So this is really helpful for um, students who are learning English and it's um, helpful for them to understand what is being said. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. The other um, feature that you will wanna be familiar with is the present now button. So if you click on there, you have three different options. You can present your entire screen, you can present a window, or you can present a tab, um, just a single tab from your internet browser. Now your entire screen students will see everything that you see on your desktop okay or on your screen. Uh, for a window if you're using a specific application um, but an app or a software then you can have it only display that using this option um, or even um, the browser that you're using. And then this last one a tab would only present the tab that you're using. And this one is uh, typically used for uh, showing videos to the class because the audio is a lot um, better. The quality is just better if you're using that. So those are your different options. Let's say I'm going to present my screen. So this window appears and it's asking you, if I had more than one window open, it would show me all those options here and it will ask me to choose, well, which one do you want to present to the meet? So since I only have one here available, I just click on that one and then click on the share button. So now it's telling me that I'm sharing my screen with the class and it's presenting it now. And so when that happens, um, students will be able to see your screen, but you can't see um, their tiles so much anymore. So let's say I'm presenting this page here. So see, it, you see, I can't see the chat. I can't see the students' tiles. So just be aware that uh, that feature won't be available anymore. You won't be able to monitor them as well. Um, so. Uh, you don't want to present for too long because you want to be able to communicate and monitor the students. So you want to switch back to the meet as often as possible. 
but just remember that um, students can see it until you stop presenting. So you can click stop presenting here or here on the stop sharing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on stop presenting and then it goes back to the tiles that we had before. Um, I think we pretty much covered it. I just want to let you know um, that at the bottom of the screen you also have microphone, uh, video buttons, and uh, the leave call. Now this is very important. You don't want to leave a meet until all the students have left. Now sometimes you'll have students who are distracted and or they're, they've already joined another class meet and forgot to leave uh, your meet. So you'll need to remove them at that point. I'll make sure that it's at the end of the class. And um, once you do that, you'll just click on uh, remove and then remove again. And you can also remove them from the uh, people icon. And then you'll see uh, that I have another student here. So I'm going to click on the down arrow and then click on the remove from meeting icon. And it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to remove this person? And I do. So I'm going to click remove. Okay, so now it's just me and I don't have any students in the meet. So now I can go ahead and just close the entire meet by clicking on the X on my tab and I'll be done. So that's how you would monitor a substituted class with the Google Classroom and Google Meet. So I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to call the main office and they'll direct you to the person that can help you the best. Thank you.